What's going on, your fellow dram sippers? What's going on? You see what time we got? It right here, American Single Malt Whiskey. Today we got the Westward Cash Strength on deck. Um, this one right here is a fairly new one. Um, I tried this not too long ago. We'll get into that. It's Cash Strength, as you see, 62.5%. This is from actually Oregon. So we're going to get all into it. Today we got the Westward Single Malt Cash Strength on deck for review. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Let's go. Hey, baby, we're back at it again. Another hot review for you. Drams on deck. <sighs> today, today we got American Single Malt in the building. Today we got the Westward Cash Strength on deck for review. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Um, it, so if you're new to my channel, just so you know, I'm a person who likes cash strength. Um, I like higher proofs or what you call barrel proof. Preferably, I like my spirits to be 50% up. And that's not a requirement. It's just a preference. There's some drums, I, plenty of drinks that I drink that's far below 50%. But I'm just saying, just my, my sweet range is 50% or higher. This happens to be, as you saw earlier, 62.5%. This is actually my first bottle of uh, Westward. Um, I actually got to, I tried this for the first time um, last, well, no, a couple months ago. I'm here in Des Moines. They had a uh, whiskey festival that was in uh, mid uh, November, so about two months ago, and I, you know, they had different offerings, and I saw this, and I was like, okay, I, you know, because I've been seeing this bottle around at my local stores around, I just hadn't had the opportunity to try it yet. Like, you know what? I knew it was a hundred dollars. It was well, this one was a little bit low. It's like maybe ninety bucks. So I think it was about eighty five, ninety bucks. I got a little discount, but anyway, but it's pretty much close to a hundred dollars. So I was like, not age stated. Um, American single malt. I'm used to, you know, obviously single malt from Scotch. So I was like, you know what? I, you know, I it was I was looking to try a pour. I was at the, the uh, whiskey uh, West Festival. I said, give it a shot. So I tried it. I was like, wow, this is pretty damn good. I was like, it kind of shocked me how good it was. Now they state of American, uh, and it was from Portland, Oregon. I don't know too many. I don't know too many uh, as far as whiskey goes that come from Portland, Oregon. So I was like, okay. I was like, now once I tried it, I'm like, okay, let me buy a bottle, which is what I did. So I had this bottle probably, I got this maybe about a week after the, the whiskey festival. So I had it almost a couple months now. I went to do a review. Um, I also tried their other offering, which is their, uh, this is their regular uh, offering, which is like 45%. Comes like in a teal color. Looks, it's, look, the bottle shaped the same, the pack, you know, the label's the same, but just a different color. So the, the one for, I'm, the one I'm talking about, the 45% entry level, it is a teal color one, and that one's like around $70. So um, this one's like, like I said, about 20 bucks more. <clears throat> By and large, um, the only specs I know about this, I know it's from Portland, Oregon. It's non a stated, but I believe it's at least four years from what I read. And this is 100% malted barley. And I think for people who, I, I consider myself a worldly um, spirit person. When I say about worldly, quick you know, reference, I drink all spirits. Some people who are reviewers, they only do bourbons, they only do scotches, or only do, you know, rice or whatever the case may be. I do it everything. I do rums, mescals, tequilas. I do a, I do a wide variety of cognacs, Irish whiskey, Japanese whiskey, American whiskey. Don't, I don't care where it's from. If it's good stuff, I'll drink it and try it. So um, people who are specifically bourbon drinkers, this is, which, this is not considered a bourbon, but I think that this is a nice, I would say a nice pivot from a typical bourbon to American single malt. I think there's something that they can get into and enjoy. Um, it's not a scotch, but it is, it's kind of body. It's like a single malt, which is what you would expect a scotch to be. Um, by and large, I think it's a good pivot. I think it's a good difference, uh, you know, a good change up for someone who just strictly only drinks traditional bourbon or, you know, I think this is a good pivot. That being said, as always, we're going to nose it, we're going to taste it, and we're going to score it. As always, so let me start with this color. This color right here is not as stated, but it's pretty medium dark brown. Um, I like the color. Like I said, it's a, like a like a medium dark caramel. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <sighs> Let's see what this nose has to offer. Wow. Now you know it's sixty two point five percent. That's a high proof. So that that being said, if you're not used to high proofs, you know the first couple sips may you know knock you on your on your back side. So you know be wary of that. Take small sips of pour a little pour water gradually. You know, but right off the top, I can, I smell apricot apples. Cinnamon, some spice, some kind of baked cinnamon spice. I'm very heavy on the spice. Not a rye spice, but like a baked cinnamon sweet kind of spice. That kind. Getting like some, it's like some graham cracker. A little orange peel on here. It's very nice. You know what I'm saying? Very nice. 
but yes, it's, you get the spice, you get a little bit of apples, the orange peel, um, very heavy on the nutmeg, cinnamon spice. Very, very nice on that. You get a little, a little small dollop of vanilla on there as well. So anyway, without further ado, let's take this first sip and let's see what this has to offer. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Ooh. All right now. 62.5 is letting this presence be felt. As in right now, I feel my chest and my palate getting nice and warm. A little tingly off that first sip on that 62.5. Usually the first sip is the strong one. After that, it's like it's like nothing after that. But in the first sip, I get a lot of a lot of little nice little pockets of flavor. But I'm gonna take one more sip. So I can further saturate my palate and I can dive deeper into the notes for you. One more quick sip. Mm. 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 Okay. Wow, off the palate, I get a lot of chocolate on here. Chocolate, orange peel, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla. Get like a, it's all, it has some similarities with the nose. But that first, the first couple of hints, you get the orange peel, chocolate, a little apple, a little cinnamon. Get nice, nice spice on there, cinnamon. And it's, it's really, really good. And it's not, even though it's a 2.5%, don't get me wrong, you feel the heat. There, there's some, you feel, there's some oomph there. But it's not like scour scouring my, my tongue or my palate. You know what I'm saying? If you're someone who used to drink cash strength or, or you know, high proof burp, or you call if you're a bourbon person, it's called barrel proof. But if you used to drink higher proofs, this shouldn't be a problem for you. If you're someone who always drinks mixed drinks or very low proofs, like if you always like basil hating, a lot of people like basil hating, that's a bourbon, but that's always 40%. So if you jump from 40% to 60%, it's going to be some difference there. So just, you know, gradually, you saw as I took. After I took the second sip, I had a little bit of water in it because I want to give you my opinions of it with and without water. But the, the uh, viscosity is kind of medium. Um, it's not super oily, but it's but it, it's not thin either. Uh, so I get it's about medium viscosity. Um, and then when you swirl it around, the, like the chocolate and the orange peel kind of is in the forefront. And as I roll into the mid palate, that's where you get like a, a whole wallop of spice on there. Like I said, the, the cinnamon, nutmeg, all kind of spice like that, vanilla. And it goes down pretty smooth. It has a has a pretty medium high finish on it because, like I said, it's a higher proof. So not, and not always, but a lot of times it's a higher proof. Usually, but not always, the finish may tend to be longer on a sixty percent uh, ABV as opposed to a forty percent. That being said, um, like I said, I, I really enjoy the, the the flavors on here. It's a nice change up from a traditional bourbon. I really enjoy this. And like I said, it's not cheap either. But I do like the the bottom. It's, it's very thick. You see the bottom of it is it's thick. It's heavy. Has some weight to it. I like the shape of it. Like a, you know, it's, it's like I said, light presentation at the bottle. And, and like I said, the on my palate, the, the juice does not disappoint. Now, I took another sip with water. I just want to take a couple sips just to see if it alters the, the flavor profile or enhances it in any kind of way. I mean, 60%, so I'm sure it can take, it can take a little bit of water. So without further ado, let's take another sip of this water here. Mm. Mm. Has a lot of similarities to to with with even with uh, with and without water. Has some similarities, but the one thing I will say with water, pick up a little bit of mint tea. So you still get all the other flavors. Like I said, the spice heavy on the spice. Not like I said, not not necessarily a rice spice, but like a sweet baking. Cinnamon nutmeg spice. You still get a little bit of chocolate, that vanilla, the orange peel, but then you get like a nice uh on, on a mid palate, you get a nice heavy note of like a mint tea. And then kind of like it. And it's still roll, it's still going. I got down about 30 seconds ago. It's still that tea and, uh, and that mint still dancing my palate. So 
Oh, no, man. This, this is a pretty good one. Like I said, man, I enjoy it. Um, I think it's a pretty good one. Like I said, I mean, it's not cheap. So, I mean, a lot of people are stuck on age statement. They say, well, I'm not paying $100 on something that's not age stated. And blah, blah, blah. I can't tell you what to do with your money. But what I will tell you is just I think this is a very good uh, change up from something that's your traditional bourbon drinker. And I like the I like the fact that it's high proof. I like the fact that it has a good finish. I like the fact that you get a nice amount of different flavors. And like I said, with the, the spice and you get the fruit factor, like and a little bit of chocolate. I think it's I think it's pretty good, and and to me they they are woven pretty good. It's, I think it's balanced, is what I'm saying. Um, but again, if you never had this before, I think a a good idea if you never had it is to try a pour. Go to your local uh, bar, sports bar, restaurant. They may have a Westford. I'm starting to see it now more and more like certain restaurants. So if you go to like a nice decent steakhouse or something like that, they should be able to find a pour. Or maybe you go to a whiskey house, put them on you live at. Uh, certain places have a whiskey house that you can go and, and try to pour at whatnot. Um, but, you know, um, I definitely think that this is definitely something that you you can enjoy. Um, like, I like the proof and the, and the all in that. Like I said, it doesn't taste like a traditional bourbon. So, I, and that's like I said, but it's still very good, solid. The only thing I can think to compare it to, and not directly, but if you ever had Stranded Hands, uh, Stratton's, um, they have a, I think there was a, they have a blue peak. Or they have a, the, there's a black label and there's the the regular one. It had to me, and that's a, what you would call an American single malt. I think that if you if you like Stranahan's, I think you'll like Westford. If you ever had this, because I've had Stranahan's, I've never had a bad Stranahan's. I've had a Stranahan's the Sherry Cast. I had the blue one. I've had the black uh, a colored label bottle, and I've had the traditional uh, yellow or gold color. I've never had a bad strand hands. If you if you confuse on top about it, it's the one that has like the little uh, silver uh, metal cap on the on the very top of it. But anyway, I have a bottle upstairs. But nevertheless, um, if you ever had strand hands, I think you'll like this one. Um, good solid dram. I enjoy it. If I had to rate this one out of a 10, 10 being the best for meat drams on deck, I would give this Westford American single malt out of Portland, Oregon. Um, cash cream. I'll give this for me. Um, and again, I'm not going to compare this to a scotch because it's not a scotch. So I compare it to, you know, other American whiskey. So I, I would, for me, I would give this a solid eight, eight and a half out of a 10. I think it's 8.5 out of a 10 I, because I like the, I like the flavor profile with the sweetness and the, the citrus and then the, the mint tea. And then you get like the spice. I like the fact that it's high proof. I like the fact that, you know what I'm saying? Medium viscosity and, and, the, and the longevity. The finish is pretty, as far as the time wise, it's, it's pretty medium long finish. Now, the only thing you can really debate is if you don't like the flavor profile, if you're not into, you know, if you don't like orange peel, if you don't like uh, the mint, if you don't like the spice, baking spices or, the, you know, sweet spice, if you're not into like, you know, uh, those type of things, vanilla, then maybe it's not made quite your flavor profile. If you're someone with like a heavy rice spice or a heavy peat person, obviously that's not going to be peat, but this peat would be scotch, but I'm just simply using that for example. Um, then that, this may not quite be your wheelhouse if you're, you're like, you know what I mean? Like I said, you're going to get spice, but not like a heavy rice spice. So just, just to make a distinguish it. But no, no, 8.5 for me, Dram's on deck. I like the Westford cash drain. I think it's a good solid buy, man. I mean, like I said, $100 ain't cheap. So I definitely can feel for some people to say, you know what? It may be good, but for for 100 for pit of like, suppose $100 in your place, you can really say, well, there's a lot of things I can buy for $100 that may be just as good, if not better, dare I say. And I don't disagree with that. I don't. So I would maybe say try the 45% one. If you're not someone, you know, who, who's big on, on, on a proof, I'm a, I'm a sucker for high proof. But I would say I tried the 45% entry level Westward. When I said it has like a teal color label, that one's like around 70 bucks. So that's cheaper. And I think I tried, that was, it was only one sip, but it has not quite. Just imagine everything I told you, but a lower proof. It has a lot of similarities with this, but just a lower proof. So I would suggest say if $100 is like too much for you, non a et etc., etc., try the entry level one. Um, that's 45% ABV. I think you'll enjoy that one as well. I know I did, and I had some similarities, but it's on, not on a higher level as far as with the proof. You know, it's not gonna punch you in the face with the proof. Um, I think you enjoy that as well. So like that's like I said, that's about 70 bucks. So. Maybe that's more manageable. I would definitely say try that one. So all in all, hope you guys got something out of it, man. I've been enjoying it. Um, I'm back at it, dropping more reviews. And always, please hit me in the comment uh, box. I'd love to hear you guys' uh, thoughts and replies on the videos if you've had this, even if you haven't had this. You know, if you have any questions whatsoever, I'll always be sure to try to, my best to answer back every single person. So please, that's like you drink, you all my drinking bites. So please interact, let me know. Also, in the description box, I have a link from my Instagram page. I have an Instagram page. I got a lot of bottles on there as well. Um, also, I have a cash app Patreon if you do choose to support. 
Um, but all in all, you got something positive about this. If you're in the store, you're looking for something new, hopefully maybe this might hit for you. It just might. Give it a shot. If you, you've never had it, uh, hopefully this review can help, you know, to maybe buy it or not buy it. You know, this may be in your warehouse, maybe not. So either way, hope you got something out the review, man. I really do. So stay tuned. I got more hot reviews coming your way. Hope everyone's safe. Enjoying the new year. So on, so on. So stay tuned. Next time, Drams on Deck. Yes, sir. Thank <music> you.